Welcome to another video! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to translate URL slugs for your multilingual website using the Translate Press plugin. So, when your visitors browse your site in a language different from the default one, ideally you'd want them to be greeted by a URL that is written in the same language as the one displayed for them, just like I'm showing you in this example. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need the Translate Press plugin and the SEO pack add-on available with any of the premium versions of the plugin. Since you're here, I'm going to assume that you already have your website set up with at least the free version of TranslatePress and two different languages. Now, to get started with URL translation, you'll need to first purchase a premium version of TranslatePress if you haven't already and install it on your website. Once you have your main and pro plugins installed and activated, it's time to enable the SEO pack add-on. For this, simply go to Settings, Translate Press and navigate to the Add-ons tab. You'll see the SEO pack right away since it's the first one listed. So go ahead and activate it by clicking the Activate button. Now let's get to Slug Translation. With Translate Press, you can translate URL slugs for posts, pages, custom post types and WooCommerce products and you can do this both manually and automatically. So let's start with the first option. To manually translate a URL slug, first you'll want to navigate to the post, page or product that needs the translation. For this example, I'm choosing my website's about page, so I'm opening that from the front end. You can see here that the URL slug for the English version of this page is slash about, but if I switch to my second language, which is German, the slug remains the same. So let's change that. Click the translate page button in the top admin bar to load the translation editor. With the SEO pack activated, the Translate Press visual interface will now display slug and SEO meta information in the menu dropdown. So now all you have to do is find and choose the slug you want to translate and enter the translated version of the slug at the bottom of the sidebar. When I close the translation editor and refresh my page, you'll see that the URL slug for the German version of my about page has now been translated. The process of translating slugs for posts and WooCommerce products is the exact same. Simply go to that specific page on the front end, click the translate page button and repeat the steps I've just shown you. Now, if you have a larger website and you want to speed up the process, you can also opt for automatic URL slug translation. For this, navigate to settings, translate press and hit the advanced tab. Scroll down to the miscellaneous options section and check the automatically translate slugs checkbox. Then hit save changes. Keep in mind that in order for this to work, you'll need to have automatic translation enabled on your site. We have a whole nother video explaining the entire process of enabling automatic translation, so if you need help with that, click the video link in the upper right corner. Now since we're on the subject of link translation, TranslatePress also lets you translate external links that you might refer to from your site. In my example, I have a link sending the user to a Wikipedia page written in English. But for my German version of the site, I'd like to send my visitors to its equivalent German Wikipedia page. So to do this, I'm going to open the translation interface once again and click on the pencil button that appears when I hover over the link in question. You can see here that the word is already translated, but what I want to do now is add a link to the German version of that Wikipedia page. Now, when a German-speaking user will click on that link from the German version of this page, he will be prompted to the German Wikipedia article instead of the English one. And that's it! Your website's URLs are all set. For more information, you can check the links in the description box, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like. If you'd like to see more useful WordPress tutorials, you can always subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!